Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video I return to a location that I was actually at about 6 months ago, but in completely different weather conditions, just to see if the weather makes a huge difference to the type of images that I take. This is Loch Catherine in the Trossachs. Uh, if you watched the channel for a while then you would have seen my video from here last September. And uh, this is actually my third visit since that video. Uh, but the other ones I wasn't particularly happy with the footage that I got. I was here in November of last year in the hope that we might have some fog, but that didn't really come in much. And then I was here again in January to shoot a particular part of the, the loch side as part of an ongoing project that I'm working on. But again, I didn't really think, although I was happy with the images, I wasn't particularly happy with the footage, which is why it never appeared here on the channel. So I'm hoping the third time lucky. So, yeah, I'm going to do a wee bit of uh, maybe woodland photography and also try and grab some shots of the loch, maybe head back down to Ellen's Island again. Uh, as always, I don't have a huge amount of time. I think I'm limited to about two hours today. So uh, I'm going to have to be quick. But yeah, let's see if we can grab some shots. I'm going to head into this forest behind me here because I know that there are some, well, A, some nice old trees, but also B, some uh, quite reasonable views over Loch Atherin towards uh, towards, uh, sorry, <laughs> I got distracted I just saw this sign saying prohibited and I was trying to work out what exactly was prohibited so yeah I follow this path up into the, the trees to see if there's uh, any nice uh, shots I can have up here and then I'll come back down again and go further along towards the loch itself in Ellen's Isle Yeah, that was weird. I was getting further and further into the woods. Uh, as I say, chasing compositions. And uh, all of a sudden, I came across this clearing in the woods. I thought, oh, this might be a nice image. Walked another 10 steps and uh, found a tent pitched. Still very early in the morning, so I didn't really feel like uh, annoying somebody. Uh, There's a nice spot to pitch the tent, but it did ruin any chances I had of grabbing some shots. Alright, hopefully, you can hear me over the sound of these geese, but the sun is just starting to hit the tip of this uh, tree here on the island. So what I did was I actually grabbed a shot a couple of seconds ago where the island was all completely in darkness. So that gave a bit of separation between the foreground island, the secondary island, and then the distant mountains. I'm shooting on the 20-40-105 mm lens at the moment. But I think what I might have to do is put on my 300, uh, 70, 70 to 300 telephoto lens and get in a bit closer because I'd kind of like to include these geese in the foreground as well and at the moment with this lens the mountains in the background are looking a bit kind of small so I'd like to make more of them because I love the way the clouds are just kind of dappling shadows over the back of that mountain there That sound is incredible Anyway, uh, I managed to get quite a tight crop round the mountain with a little bit of snow left on it and the kind of dappled cloud shadows and this foreground island so that looks quite nice on the back of the camera and uh, then I took another way kind of just half of this island the mountain and this more distant island you know kind of that shape and uh, yeah it looks okay in the back of the camera as well I'm shooting at ISO 100 as I say on the 70 to 300 mm lens uh, at f8 and that's given me a shutter speed of 1 over 250 which seems to be okay just now, I'm, I'm still shooting handheld
If you ever saw my um, last video from this location, uh, I think it was like handheld landscape photography or something like that. It is my most successful video to date and I still don't know why, but anyway. This is the exact spot that I shot the the misty images of the the clouds uh, pouring over these hills in the background. Uh, I'll stick a link up to that video, but uh, it's amazing how different it looks today. This island behind me. I uh, I was here back in January, and uh, I didn't publish the video because at the end of the, the day, I think I only got one image that I was particularly happy with. <laughs> but it was a good one, so I did. But I decided the video probably didn't justify the effort just because there was only one image in it. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll stick up, I'll stick the image up just now. I think it was roughly from here I took it. And uh, as I say, it was January, so we'd quite a bit of fog and mist. And this island in the foreground looked to just be on its own. And just a sea of mist, and it looked quite dramatic. I thought it was a lovely shot. But as I say, the, the same mist that helped that image <laughs> kind of stopped me from getting anything else. So uh, that's the reason the video was never published. I seem to remember there was quite a dramatic tree just around the corner up here. And then there was uh, some waterfalls beyond that. So I might go there, have a look around and then call it a day. Yeah, this is the tree here. It's I couldn't find an angle on the last visit. Uh, I doubt it's going to be any different this time. It's quite a distinctive tree though, isn't it? I just can't see where the photograph is. I found this path. But, in all honesty, I have no idea where it's going. <laughs> I just curiosity, I followed it. It's going up the hill, but I don't know why or where. Yeah, this, this path, it clearly climbs, as you can see here, but I've no idea where it's going. And to be honest, I'm kind of struggling for time. So I think it's a wee mental note to self. Check out the maps and find out exactly where this goes, because it's clearly heading up the hill, I'd imagine. There's a, a viewpoint or something like that up there. But uh, I don't know how far it goes. And I've got less than an hour now before I have to get back in the car and head home. So uh, that's one for another day, I think. It's been a nice day. I've, I've not seen anybody. I mean, it is, it's relatively early on a Sunday morning. So. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be particularly busy, but I uh, haven't seen a single person other than I saw one cyclist pass me just as I was starting the walk, and that's been it. So, kind of beat a bit of solitude now and again. Eh? like this little tree here just uh, showing that nature can take over pretty much anywhere 
is that I shot there? Yeah, what a difference an hour will make, eh? <laughs> that was completely in darkness when I arrived. I should have set up a time lapse. Ah, region, should have done that. That would have been quite interesting watching it crawl out of the darkness. I'm just thinking what I'll do is I'll get to the point where I shot the island from earlier and uh, I'll shoot it again and we can compare and contrast. You guys can let me know what one you prefer. The one with the foreground islands in darkness or the one when it's illuminated. I'll try and take it from exactly the same spot. In fact, I think I think it was around about here, wasn't it? So I'll take that shot again just now and we can compare and contrast. I couldn't video what I was just doing there because uh, I was shooting directly into the sun again but these trees behind me from over there in the sunshine they were kind of being backlit by the sun and uh, it caught my attention so again I grabbed a couple of shots no idea whether they worked or not and I had to increase the exposure time quite a bit so they could well be um, blurry but caught my eye so I took the shots So that's us for another video, uh, did I get any award winning shots? Almost certainly not, um, does that matter? Absolutely not. It was good to go and uh, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did uh, don't forget to give us a little thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you next time, cheers bye.